Welcome back for another edition of Real Estate Roundtable. I'm Rob Moore and joined once again by Jeff Lichtenstein, owner of Echo Fine Properties. And today we have a, a fun show, uh, Jeff. We're talking about destinations, places to visit all over the state of Florida, maybe a little beyond Florida, not a, a short drive away. Um, and we have pictures galore. We have some videos. And if you're watching this, we want your input too. We want to know what are some of the key, uh, hidden gems, the places that maybe we don't know about that you've visited with your families. Um, there's so much to do in Florida. I think you can spend years upon years traveling just Florida alone and you still won't hit all the destinations. So, Jeff, uh, let's get started. Take it away. Let's talk about some of the places well, you've well, been. Welcome to Florida. I see you, you just entered the state. I did. I, I just drove down. A 17 yeah. and a half hour drive from Pennsylvania, in case you were wondering where I live. And then how long is it within Florida? Florida is so big. I mean, you once you hit the tip of it, like Jacksonville's four to five, five hours you know, away to the border or so. And then if you've ever driven, we did one trip where we traveled to New Orleans um, for winter break. And you're going through the whole panhandle and it's just hour, you know, it's more than 10 hours to get to one side and the time changes. So there's like really at the, at the end of right. you're like back on central time, you know, it gets all, you know, before you hit Alabama, it gets all confusing. But it's, it's that big of a state. So, you know, we've been, I'm from Chicago originally, you're from Pennsylvania. And in Chicago, there's, you know, vacation, you usually leave the state. There's, you know, a little bit downstate and then, um, you got the Iowa cornfields way to the west, and you know maybe a trip to Milwaukee. Indianapolis is five hours away. So there's you know other than the Indianapolis 500, there's not much there, and then Michigan's pretty far away. So there really wasn't a lot to do outside of the um, you know the, the you know the city itself. But in Florida, one of the things that I thought we and we've been here 20 years now is that we've taken so many vacations. Um, and day trips from within the state that you can, you know, if you're a snowbird and you want to do something, you know, for a fun weekend or, you know, just little getaways, you could probably plan 20 really different trips and not have, you know, not repeat it, you know, at all, at all the, you know, e you know each time. There, there's just so many, so like you said, so many places to go to see. And let me pull myself back up there. Sorry. So let's. Let's go through. Uh, you sent me, I think Jeff sent me about uh, his whole photo album on his phone of pictures from all over. And, and I've had some pictures of places we visited. Um, you know, one of my favorite places to visit in Florida um, is, is the Florida Keys. So you got, you can start at Key Largo. A lot of people like to go to Key Largo. It's what, about an hour and 45 minute drive. I drive a little slower than Jeff, so he might make it there in about an hour 20. Um, hour 20. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, well, Key Largo is about, I would say about 20, about two hours. Two hours, yeah. Yeah. But it's, um, I, that was the first, but you go from Key Largo and you go all the way to Key West, and Key West almost doubles the trip because it's about four hours altogether. And they're so different, and the keys are right. Each key is, is very different, and they're completely different, you know, vacations. But I think Key Largo may have been the first one we went to, and I remember we went snorkeling, like over at John Penn Camp. You know, park that was like the first experience I had, you know, doing something, um, you know, like that. And you said, let me, I'm sorry, I'm going through the pictures here. Like I said, we have so many different pictures. Um, so you talked about John Pennycamp State Park, and there's that area there where you can go scuba diving, and there's a statue. Where is the picture? Hold on, I know I have it in here. There's a picture of, um, not a picture, sorry, a statue of, of Jesus. Here it is. Yeah. Right at the bottom there. Uh, looking up, hands extended, and the fish, the colorful fish that are around are, are amazing. Parrot fish, uh, just so many different types and, and colors and, and, uh, of fish um, all over the place right there. And then you go through some pictures, uh, another stop. So you go from Key Largo and you keep heading down the Keys and Isla Mirada is a is huge stop uh, for people in our area. There's a place called, and I think you've been there, Jeff, maybe you haven't. Chico, Chico Lodge, yeah, we've done that a couple times. Ch Chico you know, Lodge? We did, we did, yeah, we did that ourselves, you know, once, and then we did, um, 
Uh, we did that just, you know, just by ourselves, and then another time we, you know, we took our kids there. And there's a golf course there, and fishing, and um, you know, you know, and there's little, you know, cute restaurants all over town. Or you can bed and breakfast. There. You know, a lot of the keys is, is bed and breakfast. And, and then you have so you're when you're driving down, you hit Isla Mirada, and you have uh, Robbie's, where the kids can. I think it's a dollar a bucket. I, I'm not sure. It's not that much, but you can buy fish to feed the tarpon. And the tarpon are right around the dock, and the tarpon are like 12 foot long. I'm not even lying. They're huge fish. And you reach over, and you, you hold the fish, and the tarpon literally jump out of the water. And sometimes they grab your hand. Sometimes they get your hand. But they'll, they'll take that fish, and that's just a fun experience, uh, something you have to do. Um, and then as you keep driving down, you're, you're going through more. We, we always do that. On the way back, we stop there. You stop on the way uh, back? I mean, it, we, yeah, we, have, we, have, we eat there feed the fish and then you, they have really good um, seafood there to take back so usually we're getting some um, you know, some crab legs or you know you're doing something you know, you know, fun from there so so then you keep going and then you reach the, the you, you reach the end of the road uh, when you get down to Key West and Key West there's just I mean so many things to do down there um, it, it, there's let me see if I could find this picture. Like I said, we have so many pictures. Jeff, you were how many times have you been to Key West? I think we've done it four or five times, but each one was really different. You know, it's um, and Key West is it's like different vacations for for different people. There's like a whole history of Key West, which is really interesting. Like we've done the Truman. I, I think the, 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 the we did the Truman Museum the last time we went, which is the first time that we. That we did it, I, I loved it. It was uh, really gets into a lot of the history of you know World War Two and Truman used to you know vacation um, there. So I you know just walked out with like a whole history uh, lesson. There's a place called Blue Heaven. I don't know if you've ever been oh, there. Oh, that's breakfast. my favorite. I think I have a picture yeah. here of that too. That's that the best breakfast place I. What? Blue Heaven, yes, and the size of the the key lime pie. It comes with like a crusted custard. Oh yeah. my goodness! Hold on, let's see. I, I, again, I apologize. There, 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 the, it's like they have kind of like lobster Benedicts, like you know, crab leg Benedicts. It's, it, it's taking me. Oh, here's the, so here's the uh, here's the picture of Sam and Jade at the uh, Harry Truman yeah. Museum. Um, that was Jade's first time. She was there when she was little, but she she you know we went there for like a you know like a four or five day trip. She she loved the piece. And then we have. Oh, we have comments coming in too. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to miss the comments here on on our page. David Backer says one of his favorite places is Clearwater, and we'll get to Clearwater. We have some pictures from Clearwater. Um, Anna Esposito says she got married in Key Largo. Great location. I've been to a wedding in Key Largo. Um, and and Chris Burke is commenting. You need a haircut, Jeff. You need a haircut. Chris Burke says. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, for uh, for for leaving that. Uh, I'm glad Chris is up to. So, so another place in Key West, and it's an interesting place, is the, um, here it is, the Hemingway House. And look at that. When you walk in, there's cats everywhere. So there's the cats on the bed. And there, look at that, look at that picture, Jeff. There you go. That's the, that's the money shot. Look at that. So have you been I to the... I've never done that. You've I never done the Hemingway House? No. It's cool. You, you, you pay, you walk around, and there's literally cats everywhere. Sleeping on the beds. I didn't, I didn't, roosters everywhere that you go all over the U.S. There are roosters, and I believe you sent me pictures of those too. Um, we have we have the southernmost point. Sorry, it's sideways. Yeah. Um, and that that takes a beating every every storm. If you can see, there's a guy repainting the S and the O because I believe we went there just after a storm and it got battered. And, you know, they have to repaint that every so often. But that's a, a picture spot right there, right at the very end. 90 miles of Cuba, if you look straight out. Uh, mile marker zero. Another place where people like to take a lot of pictures. Have you ever been here, Jeff, in Key West? And I don't know if, if people watching have, have been here, but let's see. Do you know what this mile is? Marker I've been is that... Is that uh, what museum is that? that? I think I have actually. Yes, that is Robert the Doll, and Robert the Doll is how they came up with the movie Chucky. This is the this is the original, basically Chucky. This is how they come up with the idea for the movie Chucky from Robert the Doll. Funny story, you need to ask Robert 
before you take his picture. You can't just take his picture. You have to ask what, him. What museum is that in? Oh, I can't remember the like name. Is that like the trivia museum? That's thing? a good thing. Google. Everyone Google out there if you're watching. What museum is I can't remember. It was in, it was in this. Robert the Doll. So Robert the Doll. So you have to ask and Robert. You were named after? Yeah, that's who I was named after, yes. You, you need to ask Robert to take his picture. Uh, and if you don't, if you just take his picture without asking, you're cursed. Um, so that's, that's a key stat there. But don't forget to ask him before you take his picture. There's Blue Heaven. There's the, no, again, sorry, folks. The, the, the pictures come in sideways. You had a picture of Blue Heaven. Yep, we were there. We have a lot of sideways pictures of Blue Heaven. This is like a little family <laughs> album. I have, um, you know, pictures of the Key Lime Pie from there. There's some, you know, bars that we like to go down there, Hog's Breath. Yep. And, and it, at Hog's Breath, they do a, um, they have a live webcam. So you can call your friends in Pennsylvania or wherever they're at and say, hey, I'm in front of the webcam right now. And, and they can watch you online if, if you'd like to do that. After a few drinks, I think a lot of people like to do that. And then yeah, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of famous, um, you know, bars. The, the, the Green Parrot's another one of my favorites. And then here's, uh, what is this, Jeff? This is you guys parasailing? Yeah, we went par you, you know, parasailing is something that's fun to do. You know, there's a whole bunch of things oh. on the you know, water. I think that was me and, <laughs> me or Sam or me and Jade. <laughs> that's a great picture. He's ready to cut yeah, the line. <laughs> uh, and there it is there. You know, there's, there's fishing down there. You can go out on some charter boats. There's Mallory Square. Uh, where you can see, I think you sent me a picture of that too, where you can see unbelievable sunsets. And they have the street performers that juggle fireballs and put right. swords Everybody down. Everybody gathers at night, and that's kind of, you know, that's, uh, that, that's like a big thing. So if sunsets you, are just amazing. So if you've never been to Key West, folks, that's a great, great place, uh, fun place. Uh, take your family um, and get down there. And now... Where do you want to go next, Jeff? We have so much on here. And, and again, I, if you're... I, you know, what's so close to us is Miami. So you got South Beach. Uh, so, again, if you guys are watching, please comment. Let us know where you like to travel in Florida. Where are some hidden gems that maybe we don't know about that's a great place to take your family and, and have some fun? Um, so in Miami, go through some of the things you guys like to do in Miami when you go down there. I, we've done so many trips in Miami. So, like, you know... For the kids, um, you know, for the kids, you know, we would go to um, South Beach, and people watch, and that's fun. We did a getaway once to get away from the kids. We went to the Fountain Blue, and um, you know, they got a fun pool party, and it's just like a, it's like a weekend getaway, and you forget like you're not from, you know, Jupiter. It's like a completely different, you know, you're like in a different state, and and, and everything, um, and just riding up and going to the different restaurants on South Beach which is really Miami Beach, is, is, a, is a lot of fun. Um, one thing we did a few years ago when we did that trip, because I've never really looked at Miami that way, is we did, a, we did a complete touristy thing to do. We did like one of these bus tours, which is like combination bus and boat, and they go over everything from, you know, little Haiti, which I saw like on a, um, um, oh, what's his name, who used to, who came to town and did the food critic. Um, Guy Fieri? No, he died a couple of years ago. You know, talking about. Um, I don't. Oh, uh, Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain did a whole thing on Miami, and all these interesting places to go, and you didn't real, you didn't realize it. But so that was that was kind of interesting. Or little Havana um, is its its own little its own little place, and I've never experienced that, you know, before. Um, Winwood. Oh. If you've never done, which yeah. I didn't do until three or four years ago, just to look at all the art that's painted on, and that's like like miles now of how much artwork is is in there, and there's all these cool funky restaurants, you know, all over the place. There you go. To go to. There's Jade in front of one of the uh, paintings. Yeah, that's at what that's at, the Win, at Winwood Walls. And then you, you got there. Sam in front of SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, but you can multiply that by like a thousand. There's so much. You know art to look at and that's a that's like a little just nice day trip day trip yeah you, know, you can do two right now and just walk around and you know pick a spot to eat outside or whatever and that's a that's a fun little trip um we'll do once a year um or twice a year we'll go to a concert or go to a Miami Heat game and we stay um you know by Bayside at you know one of the hotels there and then you know great restaurants to go to we've done some concerts we did Paul McCartney 
a few years ago, Elton John. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jeff did go to Elton John. I have to show you this video. Hold on, here it is. This is Sam, Jeff's son, having some fun. <laughs> Fantastic. So we, went, we went, we went, we went, we went glasses and like hat shopping. Pre, pre coronavirus, as you can tell, folks. Pre coronavirus, all those people out there, not socially distanced, but that was pre coronavirus. Uh, yeah. The, 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 Miami, you, you make a good point about Miami. Uh, again, how fast you drive, how much traffic you hit. Uh, about an hour, what, Jeff? How long does it take you to get to Miami? An hour twenty? Yeah, about fifty-eight minutes. <laughs> See, I'm the grandpa driver, folks. In case you're watching, I'm the grandpa driver. But no, but if there's no traffic, you can get down an hour and fifteen, you know, minutes or you know, or so. To, like, if, if if you're trying to get to like where Bayside is, Bayside is, um, you know, you know, a little touristy dining that, that's outside. And then there's you go to the, you go to an arena. And then they've got opera. There, there's you know, concert halls. There's um, all sorts of things to do there. And then they just opened, and if you haven't done it, the Frost Museum. Oh yes, um, that's awesome. Have, there. Have you, have you been there yet? Yeah, we took the kids there last year. It's 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 cool. It's awesome. It just opened up. It's, I mean, it must be a, it must be like a seven story aquarium, um, is one part of it, um, and then there's you know, and then they go through different like. There it is. Yeah, that's the that's the picture we didn't pay for. Uh, but I mean, there's that was a, that's, I think a hammerhead that's in there. Yeah. But it's really that's a it's really cool, and um, it's funny. So I'm I'm re, uh, I just want to keep up with the comments too. Adam Bendison says the Bayside Market. Uh, I've never been to the Bayside Market. I think that's the little restaurant area he's talking about down there. Um, I don't think I've been there, but we talk about food too, folks. This could be a whole other show just on food because there's so many places, so many hidden gems, so many little mom and pops. In our uh, area and along the way, Peruvian restaurants in there and stuff like that. That's that's a discussion for another show. We can do a whole show just on food. It's it's and you could tell us your favorite food places too to stop. But, um, you know, there's just so much in Miami itself. Uh, it, concerts, as Jeff said, you know, the Super Bowl was just in Miami, and I took my kids, uh, a huge football fan, of course, as I am. Uh, we took the kids down to Miami. They had a Super Bowl. Let me see. Did these pictures not load? Some of these pictures didn't. I went to the 2007 Super Bowl. That was the Prince Super Bowl. Oh, you got rained on. Yeah, and the Bears lost. It was like 40 degrees. And So here's a picture of me and my uh, t uh, two buddies. We went down. Uh, Patriots fan, Giants fan, and Eagles fan here. Super Bowl experience, and, you know, it was so much fun. There were so many things to do. This was inside the Miami Convention Center, Miami Beach Convention Center, and I mean, they did it up. There, there you got there's get, get chance to get your picture at the Super Bowl trophy. They had uh, vendors, food, um, different concerts throughout the whole week leading We've up. We've seen there like if they'll do like if that's at the Hard Rock Stadium. We we saw the Rolling Stones um, there, but there's lots so many concert venues. There's um, uh, there's the ones at the fairgrounds right by here. Uh, I remember we saw Tom Petty right before he passed. Oh wow! Uh, we you know. Um, uh, we saw the Stones at Hollywood. There's uh, at the Kravis Center. We've seen some good, you know, good concerts. Uh, Miami Arena is fun because I like that because it's like I'll go away, you know, just it's like a whole little getaway that you do. And then where the um, uh, by Sunrise, there's the where the uh, Panthers play. That's I forgot. Good, you know what? I forgot about the Panthers. I'm a hockey fan too. I forgot that there is hockey. That, you know, and there's concerts in there at, at, at Sunrise. But there's great shopping by there. That's have you been have you been to no i've driven past it i haven't been there yet but if if you guys this is the hard rock casino in hollywood and, and if you can see the picture you know this thing lights up all different colors at night uh the strings are what lights up it's a laser show yep so that's what really and if you look i can't point right but if you look down here the water you see the water area <laughs> they built this there's actually cabanas here it feels like you're like on a like an island somewhere they bring you drinks you can rent them i'm sure they're a little you know Probably cost you a few bucks or two to rent one of these uh, for yeah, a night. But that's like that's like a whole getaway weekend. Yep, you, it, you, it you, is. You want to get out of the area and, and go for two you know days and you know take a little gambling, go see. They'll have comedy concerts. There's like all these different concert halls, nightclubs, right, well, shopping. A, as you say, as you say, concerts. Uh, Suzanne Slate says the Fillmore. I've never been to the Fillmore, but she said great concerts. Suzanne, where's the Fillmore at, Jeff? Do you know where the Fillmore's at? I, I, I Suzanne. Know let us know where's the Fillmore at. 
Uh, Adam Benderson says Heat game. Yeah, I've been to some Heat games. I haven't cheered on the Heat, but I've, I've been at some Heat games. Heat games are a lot of fun. When, when I worked in the news, uh, the Heat had just won the NBA championship with LeBron James. And I remember I got to go down and cover the parade. It was awesome. I mean, there were people hanging off of uh, the old, like the, uh, what's it called? The overhang for the trains. I mean, probably not a safe thing to do, but they were hanging. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so Heat Games. Suzanne Slate, Dolphin Mall. Yes, I've been to the Dolphin Mall before. Um, then, you, you know, Jeff. You've been to the Dolphin Mall. You, you know what we missed, Jeff? We missed. What is, what, is the, what is the Dolphin Mall? Dolphin. Dolphin Mall. Just a mall. Oh, the Dolphin Mall. Just a mall. Oh, you can do the, you can, you can do the Dolphins in, um, in, um, in, in the Keys. We what, missed that, too. That I did. So we did. Um, let me see if I could find these pictures. Sorry, folks. Uh, a bunch of pictures we have here. Some of them are out of order, and some of them just unfortunately did not load. Um, of course, the one. So my family and I went to Marathon um, in the beginning of this whole uh, pandemic. pandemic, and it was a nice getaway. It really was. We stayed at a place called Captain Pips. Amazing little place. Tiny, tiny, small little place. Uh, not fancy, but it was nice. And we did the Dolphin Encounter at the Dolphin Research Center in Marathon. And it was awesome. You know, you got to swim with the dolphins. You got to hold on to their fins, and they pulled you along. Uh, so that was, a, that was a cool cool thing to do. Um, I'm going to show you one other video here, a little quick video. That is a sea turtle, and that is actually, folks, not at, a, not at an aquarium. That is in the ocean. That's me scuba diving underwater, and I came across a... Um, a sea turtle, which was another great part about the area where we live, the ocean, the wildlife that you'll see. I'll show you one other video. There you go, Jeff. What do you think about this one? Ready? Wow. Get ready. Get ready for it. Uh, there it is. So I did that. Like That's two, two bites. That was here that was in. Like, that was like the owl with the lollipop. <laughs> yes. How many, uh, how many, how licks? many bites does it take? One. Two, three. So this was actually just um, probably about 10 miles off our coast. Uh, another local company called Florida Shark Diving. And they take you out on the boat and uh, you get to hop in the water. If you're crazy enough like I was to hop in the water with these sharks, uh, they didn't bother you. They, they were just when there. Did, when did you do that? That was about three years ago now. Um, I have plans to go again. It's a, it's a lot of fun. You know, again, if you're not afraid to hop in the water, no. Nope. I would do. I would do that. No cage, no cage. It was fun though. It was neat to see lemon sharks. These are bull sharks. They're they're the more aggressive, but um, but it was fun. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Some some videos, but we you know we missed Coral Gables too, Jeff. You talked about the uh, place there's down a there. Place in Cor there's 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 something in Coral Gables that's like a, a, a just a a day trip um, if you go to Miami, but you want to do it in in around Christmas time. And they have this place called the Fairchild Gardens. It's 83 you know, acres of gardens, which is just beautiful. But at night, during the Christmas season, they turn this into this whole, like, you know, a wonderland where everything is lit up. And then they have these fairies um, that are, like, all with, you know, with, with lights. And they have a talking tree. And for kids and even for adults, it's just, it's very Disney World-ish. Um, but you'll spend three, four hours there. You know for sure that's that's a, that's a lot of fun and i just want to keep up with the comments here adam bendison says um so that's the as everyone likes to do the u or i i do this but it's the u um uh, if you haven't toured like we we actually did that a few we, we did about a month ago jade 16 so we're just looking at colleges and we went down to go visit um and it is the most beautiful campus you know i wanted to move in there it's just incredible Incredible, it is um, campus to, to walk. It's very modern and contemporary, um, and and you could just it would, it would be the most fun place to go to, to, to college. Allison, uh, she's, Whit she's eliminated it because she said that I would get nothing done. <laughs> Allison Whitney Harper says Destin, my hometown area. That's another place. Uh, one of our agents, Nafisa, who uh, I wish Nafisa was on here this morning. She travels. Yeah, would love this. She travels all over the place and 
uh, I, she was just in Destin, and she had some great pictures from there. I've never been to Destin. Um, we I, did. So we did this trip. I was telling you we went to New Orleans. For, we, we drove it. And we stopped in we so we stopped like in Tallahassee, which we never you know really went to before um, that time. And then we stopped in Alabama, um, and there was a, a um, we did a little bit of touring in, in Mobile. And then afterwards, on the way back, we decided to go through the Panhandle. You go through all the little towns, of the coastal towns, you know, in there. And Destin's really cool. There was um, if it was called it wasn't Celebration, but each one is really different in the Panhandle. It's really neat to see, but that was like an opportunity in that trip to really explore the, the panhandle. And then uh, there it is behind me. We were already there before. That's where the Super Bowl was. That's where the Miami Dolphins play. Uh, well, actually, it's packed. Look at that. There must be a game going yeah, and, on. And they had to. Um, aren't they doing drive-in movies there? Right so now? yeah. So uh, again, I, I apologize, Jeff. There's a bunch of pictures that I, I don't know why half loaded. Maybe I can only fit so many on here. But. Um, we did, so here's Hard Rock Stadium where the Miami Dolphins play. I think they still have it going on. Uh, so be, because of Corona uh, virus, COVID-19, uh, they did a drive-in movie theater. So it was the coolest thing I've done. The kids loved it. We got our, in our cars, we drove through, there's an entry entrance way, and we literally drove right onto the field. And they played the um, Back to the Future is what we watched. And they played it on all the screens and you were socially distanced and it was just it was the coolest thing you're looking around you're like wow i'm actually sitting on the on the on the on the on the field uh so we saw back to the future there um i believe the dolphins are allowing fans at their games um uh, yeah thirteen thousand fans 13 that's so that's a, a normal dolphins game folks uh, sorry i had to throw that in there <laughs> uh, that's a normal crowd for a dolphins game uh, but i think there'll be a better team this year so we'll see um, and then, so we're going to keep moving up. So we went, we took, did they win last year what were they four or five wins, four wins. Uh, they over, I think they over they should have five or six for sure. And now they got two us. So we'll see what happens. Um, so we started a little backwards, not backwards, but we started on the bottom part of the state, the keys, right? The Florida keys, Miami, Coral Gables, our area. There's a lot to do too with the Palm beach zoo, Bush wildlife sanctuary. You have Bush Wildlife is a really, if you've never done that, it's a really intimate zoo. It's in Jupiter. It's like tucked away right before, you know, a Jupiter Commerce Park. But it's a, it's an intimate zoo where you can get really up close, you know, to, you know, to lots of different things. And it's, it's just a, it's a nice two, three hours. And, and to, you can picnic there and, and it's free admission. I was just going to say that's a key. It's free admission. I, I, when we moved here, I couldn't believe that when they said, oh, yeah, there's a place where you can see all this stuff and it's free. I'm like, what? No, there has to be a charge. They do take donations, of course, because they need to. They, but it's, a, it's an animal hospital, so they, they, they rescue different um, everything from, you know, like a possum or, or a hawk or something like that. And then that's where, um, that, that's really what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a hospital, but sometimes they don't have everything. You know, they, if something's really disabled, they won't leave the zoo. They'll, they'll, it'll be there for life. And, and then you have uh, Lion Country Safari. I almost forgot about that one, but that is a cool one, too. Lion Country Safari, where... You can feed the giraffes. I don't know if you've ever done that. You literally can feed the giraffes, and they, their tongue comes out, their purple tongue, and they take the carrot or the piece of celery off you. So that's another great place, Lion Country Safari, um, Palm Beach Zoo, Bush Wildlife. You have the Rapids Water Park uh, right here in our backyard. Um, you have, you know, golf courses, public golf courses. You have... You know, the Honda Classic, we talk about the Honda Classic every year comes to PGA National. And you're right up close. You can see Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy and all these golfers who, who live here year-round also. And if you're lucky enough, Jeff, as I got a few years ago at the Honda Classic. Oh, let me get out of the way. Missed, you know who that is? No, who is that? Kenny G. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> he played Kenny G. Every Kenny G. Actually, for those of you that that you, I, I think you know who Kenny G. is, but he's an amazing golfer, apparently amateur golfer. Um, and every year he plays a little Moving concert, up. and he plays a saxophone at the at the uh, Honda Classic. So uh, that was my days in the news. There's my old friend reporter. There's a lot of other stuff to do. Just like you know, going to downtown Delray. We uh, you know Los Olas and Fort Lauderdale. Um, you know, there's, um, 
you know, there's a lot to do in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I you know, different, you know, different museums, events. We went to Hi-Li a couple of years ago. Um, you know, just on a lark to do something different. But there's lots of fun things to do. You know, within um, that are very close by. And, and I know we're missing stuff here. And, and again, if you're watching and you're saying, wow, they, they forgot about this, tell us. This is why we're doing this. We want to see. There may be places that we, have, Jeff or myself, have never been to. And we want to try to get out there all the different places there are just alone in Florida. So please comment. Let us know where you like to travel, where you like to go. Hidden gems that we may not know about. Let us know. Please comment. Tell us. Um, I found the picture. That's us on the uh, Dolphins there's Marty McFly up in the screen there. How many people were there? There was, um, hold on one second, I'm sorry. My screen froze here. There. there were, um, I mean, as you can see, let me try to get out of the way here. You know, we're parked here, there's a car, and then there's six foot distance. I don't know if there were 100 people there total, maybe. Maybe a little more, because you could fit a couple more people in your car, but. Yeah, that looks really that looks really good. That was definitely a fun experience. So, and then just alone in our area, Jeff, and we'll get to the other part, the other coast. We're going to get to the west coast in a little bit, but um, there's stuff to do that you don't need, uh, you know, a ton of money. You don't need any money. You can just go to Du Bois Park in Jupiter and picnic for the day, and enjoy the water there. You know, the beaches, all the coastline that we have here of beaches. Um, fishing. Yeah, Riverbend National R Riverbend Park is you know, terrific. I've been walking there like in the morning. You'll see deer. You know, if you go, you know, around eight o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning, um, you know, on, on all sorts of different trails. There's just little things within floor, within our own area. Kayaking. I mean, we we got two kayaks, and we've gone out. This is a group photo of a bunch of friends of ours. So we went out to uh, Munion Island. And we kayaked around the island. Where's which, Bunyan Island? Okay, so you're driving from Palm Beach Gardens over to Singer Island, right? And you see yep. the area past the uh, state park there. Um, off to the right-hand side is where people uh, get off, get their kayaks in the water, and then you paddle a little ways out, and uh, Bunyan Island's right over there. So that okay. was that's a whole ton of fun there too. Um, here's another one. This is local, folks. This is right in our backyard. There's my son. He is the captain right now on the Cruise and Tiki. And we've done a business video on the Cruise and Tiki's Captain right. Looney. Um, fun little thing. It's a, it's a three hour trip. You can see the sunset if you'd like. Uh, take a few of your friends out, uh, have a few drinks, and, and just enjoy the beauty around Peanut Island. Um, another place, Peanut Island. Have you been, Jeff? Yeah, we kayaked over there. and. Um and then you know, you know, spent some time on the beach, snorkeled, um, and then you know, then came back. But Peanut you know, Island's a cute little, you know, little place to go to for one, you know, for just for the day. It was, it was, it's a nice place. Um, they don't sell food there, so you've got to bring your own water and food and everything. Well, there That's is, if there still is, I don't know if it's still around. There was a guy who used to go. For pizza, though, right? Yes, the pizza <laughs> man on the little boat. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else I got here. So. Again, please comment. Let us know where you like to travel in Florida, what you like to do. We're trying to hit all the different places, but I know we're missing some. Uh, I, know, I know we are, and I know you can help us. Help us. Let us know where we should go next. Adam Bendison, Wildlife Reserve. Where's that, Adam? What's Wildlife Reserve? Adam, where is Wildlife Reserve? I'm sure there's a ton of those around. Um, let's see what else I got here. I'm going to go through some pictures again. Uh, this is my son. Where's that? That was down in the key, so that's a mahi for those folks who don't know what type of fish that is. And quick story, I'll make it quick. I can tell long stories. We went fishing in the keys and we uh, went with a friend of ours on his boat and he hired a captain to take us out to uh, fishing. So we were on for about three hours and caught nothing but a sunburn. And uh, we were ready to pack it in. And the guy said, hey, let's, uh, let's go out that way. I see fish or uh, birds hitting the water. And I'm like, ah, let's just go. We want to go back home. We're, we're sunburned. Or it's just annoying. And we went to where he said, and we hit a school of mahi. And I think we caught about 20 mahi that day because it was just in 
real out, and it was uh, it was a whole lot of fun. The kids really enjoyed that. Um, have you been, have you been to the middle of the state? Well, that's where I'm going to go next. Actually, that's funny you said okay. that. I haven't been to. Uh, I'm going to show you. And Jeff, I think you've been like, here. Like, this is like north of Ocala. I'm, I'm thinking like there's all these springs. Yeah, exactly. So no, this is on my bucket list uh, 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 for Florida. I, this looks amazing. It's look at how clear that water is. Yeah, the water is incredibly clear. It's really, it's cold. Um, but there's all these places, to, there's all these springs in the middle of the state. And a lot of them that you can, you know, you can, you can go swimming in and they'll, you know, they'll have a lifeguard and everything um, in there. But it's pretty, it's, it's just amazing how clear, you know, the, you know, the water is. Uh, but this is all over the middle of the state, this type of, this type of thing. And I, I think it's, there's... Silver, Silver Springs is one I think that we went to. And there's supposed to be these areas where there's these monkeys. There's these wild Florida monkeys in, and they, they, they were like escaped from Tarzan when they filmed Tarzan in the thirties. And there's like 200 monkeys in there and they don't know whether to catch them or do what to do. Oh my so goodness, they, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, I think you, Silver Springs, I think Waikiki Springs, and then there's, and I saw this too when I was searching, it's called Devil's Den. And- I've never- yeah, you showed me that. Yeah. So that's a cool shot, right? It's, I guess it's this underground spring. How do you get down to the Devil's Den. So I guess you walk down this right there. And there are basements in Florida. <laughs> yes, but that looks cool. I, I got. I definitely have to do this. And I know in the winter time, and I say winter time in Florida, um, you know, it gets cooler here, folks. Uh, not not crazy cold, but up in the middle of the state and and up north, it does get cold. And the manatee I hear love these springs. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be manatee all over the place. I know. So that would definitely be cool, cool to see. And then, Devil's you know, Den. Devil's Den. I, that's um. It's a state park in Florida. Maybe we'll. Um, yeah, we're doing something every Saturday right now. That's that's different. And that's probably a what a three hour three hour drive. Maybe I'm guessing. I'm not sure if we, if you check that out. But it's probably about a three hour drive. Um, and then you're in Orlando. What's in Orlando? Hmm. What's, there's not much there. No, nah, there's not much in Orlando. I, there's a place that's uh, it's called. Oh yeah, it's Disney World. There it is. So, the Magic when first, Kingdom. When we first moved down here, Sam would only get a haircut at Disney World. It was oh. all picky. What? So, I've never. Yeah. And because the guy would put stickers on him and stuff and distract <laughs> him, like some of the. And we we would go there. We bought passes, and um, it was a lot of fun in all the parks and everything. But that's like good, you know, there's different ages you go to Disney World at. Yep. You go there, you know, when they're little for a long time, and then you kind of get bored of it. And then, you know, uh, grandparents love to take their, you know, their, you know, it's a great, if you're a snowboard here, that's a, you know, great draw to bring your your, uh, your grandkids down here and spend the weekend. And, Between there and Universal and all the stuff, there's so much to do. And plus, if you're a Florida resident, you know, you get discounts on, on season passes and, and monthly passes, so... It's definitely something worth taking advantage of if you are a Florida resident, because um, I, I think a, a day ticket to Disney nowadays is a hundred and ten dollars, maybe uh, somewhere in that range. So that that's a lot for one day, but if you can get it where you do a season pass or half a season pass, and it's only a, a, a two two and a half hour drive to there, you know it's worth it. Uh, it's worth getting that season or half season pass to to, to Magic Kingdom. Well, Universal Universal today has so much to offer, um, and they're built they're building a, a giant park that's like like double the size of Universal. I know Universal's got a lot of land. I love Ant, um, the um, Epcot is terrific that you just had on. They have the ch- uh, food and wine festival there every year. Right. Um, I, I, I'm sure this year no, but that that's another great Epcot. Um, you have, hold on, you have Universal, which I have not been to Universal in a long time, but that's probably... You do, do, you should, you're at the age now where you can do it Fright Nights? Yes. Oh, that's another thing, Fright Nights. I just did that for the first time. Me and Sam went there. It was so much fun. And again, if you're watching, please let us know where you like to visit in Florida. We, we, I mean, we've been on now for about 45 minutes, and we're still... We haven't made it through the state yet, and we, we could be here for four days and we won't make it through all the places in the state. Um, Legoland, another one. Uh, I was there when we first moved to Florida. My kids were very small. I don't think they really remember it, but uh, another fun thing. And, and you said age groups, right? 
Legoland, more of the younger kids. I don't know about now if my kids would really enjoy Legoland as much. Um, SeaWorld, one of my favorites also, SeaWorld. And we have... NASA. Yep, where is that? I have that picture too. Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, I've done that too many times. Because that's a, that's a, when, you're, when your kids grow up here, you're, you have all these trips that you go there. Um, but now, but now they're launching rockets again. So now you can make it a right. trip where you go to see the the rocket being launched, which and is. They have an amusement park there now too. They have rides. Oh, they do. Yeah, there's a roller coaster and all sorts of things. I did not. I, know. We haven't done it in about six or seven years, so maybe maybe it's time to go back there again. But it's if you've never been there. It's um, you can do that a couple times and not get bored. Again, from our area where we're located in Palm Beach County, everything is just so. I, I say centrally located. It doesn't take long to get there. You're talking about, you know, again, a, a two-hour drive to Key Largo. You know, if you want to go down to Key West, of course, it's a longer drive. NASA's about an hour and 45 minutes, and um, but it's fun to go through, like, all the towns like Cocoa Beach and everything. And I like, or if we haven't even talked about, but Hutchinson Island and yep. downtown Stewart. There's all these just little towns that are all so different from, you know, from each other. And then you have uh, Daytona Beach, uh, Daytona 500 for all the NASCAR fans out there. You have uh, down south the Homestead, where there's also NASCAR races. Um, have, you done, have you done much in Jacksonville? No, that's one part where we kind of just drive through on our drive to Pennsylvania. I mean, it's a, it's a, such a big city. It is. Um, we we did a couple of years ago Amelia Island, which is beautiful. We did a um, you know just a couple day getaway you know there. Um, but that's another that's another place to go to. Well, well and then again, too, you know, if you're a sports fan, you have the Jaguars, you have the Buccaneers over in Tampa, you have the Dolphins. Colleges, I mean, God, my the, in the Tampa Bay area, you know, we haven't even talked about the other coast, but you could go. You know, there's Naples and San Marco, and that's just Alligator Alley. It's only two hours away, um, if that, and that's. Um, you're just taking the you know 95 of the turnpike down, down to, or if you really want to have fun, just go across, you know, go across the state on Southern, and it will bring you, you know, bring you there in about the same amount of time. You know, you can see um, um, Lake Okeechobee and, and stuff like that. But we've done, um, you know, Naples is a fun trip. San Marco. We just did Sanibel and Captiva, mm -hmm. um, which is about another hour, you know, going out on the islands. That is just beautiful, uh, Sanibel and, and Captiva. It's very, um, you know, a lot of like water, you know, sports to do there, a lot of fishing. And, you know, Captiva is probably the nicer of the two. A lot of little hole in the wall, funky restaurants. And um, we, we had a fun time doing that. And, and I, I showed an alligator because, yes, there are alligators in Florida. And we, we can do, uh, there's, there's boat tours. Uh, and the, crocodiles. And crocodiles. But we did that. We did one of those airboat tours in the Everglades, which is cool. If you haven't done that, I, I highly recommend that too. Get on the airboat and you zip around. I mean, they they literally That's zip fun. around. It is fun. You see, you see some of the alligators in the water. They pop their heads up. So that was a fun That's thing. Like you can do that right off of Fort Lauderdale. That's well, you know out west, and that and that's like an hour from here. That's a fun little trip. This is a picture of my kids at the uh, Wide World of Sports right there in Disney. And the uh, NFL Pro Bowl is there every year now. It used to go. To, it used to be in Hawaii, uh, but now they've made uh, Orlando the destination um, for the Pro Bowl, and uh, that was cool too. We got to go see Pro Bowl practices. The NFL players were up close. They interacted with the kids, signed autographs, did some things. So if you're a football fan, uh, your kids like football, it's a, it's a great place to check out too. The when the NFL Pro Bowl is in town. Um, Again, folks, please comment. Let us know where you like to travel in Florida. Hidden gems, destinations. Uh, Jeff was talking about the west coast of Florida. And we were just in, um, my wife's cousin lives in uh, St. Petersburg area. And we went I down. Love that whole area. We went down to Clearwater Beach. And uh, there's a famous wrestler who has a store right down there. Mr. Hulk Hogan, the Hulk Hogan Beach Shop, and um, that's <laughs> one of my. Mistaken? That's the one. Hulk Hogan Beach Shop. The Hulk Hogan Beach Shop. That's one of my like favorite. I, I know I'm a, I'm a kid at heart, but uh, there's my son. I can't see Hulk Hogan's head got cut off. There's the statue, and actually this statue, there was a sign on it that says, "Please don't hang on my arm," because someone 
ripped his arm off. It was glued back on. Um, but that's in Clearwater Beach. Uh, at Clearwater Beach, too, there's so much in that downtown Clearwater. There's restaurants galore, bars, shops, and the beach is just heavenly. It's white sand. Have you, have you done Harmon Square? No. Oh, wow. Where's that's, that? So that's Sarasota. No. And right the, at the entrance to Longboat Key. Uh, and Longboat Key is just, um, it, it, that's a trip you, you have to do, Rob. That's, um, Longboat Key is, um, it's, it's kind of residential and little towns with little, you know, again, you know, cute little restaurants. And it's really, it's, and it's long. And there's really pretty beaches in that area. But Armin Square is like um, just, you know, restaurant after restaurant. It's like a, a, a downtown Delray beach times five. And yeah. all, but all sorts of, you know, more, you know, upscale well, shopping and different things like that. Well, it's and it's really pretty. That's right off side of Sarasota. And then you've got Tampa Bay, um, you know, going north of there. And a lot to do in Tampa Bay. It, it's funny you mentioned uh, Delray Beach because, you know, there were a few comments. If I go back in here, Suzanne had mentioned downtown Delray Beach. And, you know, I know we're all over the map here, but, but there, there's so much just locally that we don't take advantage of. And downtown De, uh, Delray Beach... I, Probably my favorite downtown in our area. Uh, you got downtown West Palm Beach. I'm not saying there's anything we wrong. Went to, we went last yesterday. We went to the Sunday um, Sunday House. Oh, yeah, for for uh, for breakfast. If I don't know if she's not on, the buffet, not the buffet, but the uh, you know, but it was it was great. My old uh, my old boss at, at at Channel Five. I won't mention her name, but she that's one of her favorite brunch places, the Sunday House. So apparently, the brunch there is amazing. I've never been to it, the Sunday I've House. I've done the brunch once. It, it is amazing. I and mean, the grounds are really pretty to walk around afterwards. Because there's you could stay there, like, as a bed and breakfast. And, 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 you know, you're talking about Delray Beach. And I think just a little further, I think it's in Boca. It might be the Boca-Delray border. But the Murakami uh, Gardens, the Japanese gardens. Yeah, I went, to, I went to a wedding there. It's a beautiful place. And then there's the, there's the butterfly um, outdoor, not the museum, right before, like, the, uh, the flea markets. Which are a fun thing to do too. There's just I, again, I I can't believe it. And as we're talking, I'm remembering more and more places along the way. And you have before we even get to Orlando, you have a, a little town. I, I don't want to say little town. I don't mean to say it like that. But Vero Beach, a li- you know, it's just it, it it's a nice place to just get away, relaxing. Their beaches are beautiful up there too. It's it's just a stop. It's about an hour from here. Not even. Have you done Mount Dora? Nope, no Mount Dora. What's Mount Dora? Mount Dora is a good Christmas time. It's there's great shopping um, in in Mount Dora. Um, Elton John. That's uh, all. M- M- yeah, so Mount Dora, it's it's, it's a you want to go there like just for a Christmas shopping. We we did a trip to um, Savannah one year. And we stopped there, you know, in um, in between. And then we're now I'm, I, I, you go back to if you go back to so you know there's cruises you take out of Miami out of Fort Lauderdale or even Riviera Beach. And you can do all these Caribbean cruises. So, you know, the Bahamas, people boat there. Uh, we did a cruise last summer just to throughout the Caribbean. And you stop at, you know, all these little, you know, little fun places along the way. That's, that's, that's something that would, that's, you just, you just park, get on a cruise and go. That's one thing I, I, I've never done yet a cruise. I know people out there are like, what, this guy's never done a cruise. I've never done a cruise. I, it's one thing it's on my list also, but, uh, you know, I know it's tough right now for the cruise industry, and my my prayers go out to the people that work in that industry because it's 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 hard right now. Um, no one's really getting on a cruise ship to go anywhere, but hopefully that changes soon. That'll, and that'll that, you know that, that'll you know it'll all come back. But it's something that we have, or you know we're just or or we're a little puddle jump away to get to the Bahamas, or you can take a boat. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but we're close to all these islands. You know, whether it's you know uh, Puerto Rico or the Bahamas or or you know. Uh, whatever it's just lots of places to go to and then you get up and i, I you know I, I some more pictures here again folks so many pictures so many places to visit alone in florida you know you're talking about we talked about savannah georgia not far either but that's georgia it's about seven hours but, but we're we're still we can't even get through the state let alone think about going to georgia well before you get to, before you get there it's st augustine yep there it is there's sam and now I can Google right now. I know I can, but I don't. That's Puerto Rico. Is this Puerto Rico? That's Puerto Rico. But you're thinking of the fort in St. Augustine. I am. Hold on. I thought that was the fort in St. Augustine. So that's no, Puerto no, Rico. No, that was, 
Hold on. There it's it is. Port in Puerto Rico. That's the St. Augustine port. Is that the St. Augustine one? Yep. Yep. And then you can also, oh. if, if you're, if you want to, you can find the Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine. There's the Fountain of Youth. You have some ghost tours at night, which we did, which was fun. Yeah, we've done that. You do that in Savannah. You do that in New Orleans. Key West. Um, trying to make sure I'm not missing. But, but I, I, but it's a, it's that's another one where it's a. Um, say, I didn't realize when, until I went to St. Augustine. It's, you, you realize a lot of the history of you know of America, and it wasn't all English. It was you know that was all Spanish, and it's interesting to see how they that how that whole town is still intact. You know, from there, and that culture still is still present. Isn't that the oldest city in the United States of America? Yeah, it's the oldest city in the United States. So, there's St. Augustine. Well, there's some older. There's if you go to like Santa Fe area and stuff. There's some towns where they say that are farther back then. They, I'm sure they are. They go back, you know, a thousand years. So we've got. Like we've, as far as a city, though, that's the oldest, you know, city. We've gone all the way from Key West. We worked our way up to St. Augustine. We hit the west coast of the state, Orlando, concerts, fishing. Uh, hold on, I have but, a list. But, but, but Charleston is, but Charleston and Savannah are two trips that you could do separately. And, you know, uh, Savannah's six and a half, seven hours away. That's a great weekend, um, you know, trip. And then uh, Charleston is about an hour or so from, you know, from there. And again, please let us know where you like to visit. What are some of the things you guys like to do as a family, a getaway, a day trip, a mini vacation? I mean, I have a list here. And, and if you're a sports fan, Miami Dolphins, Miami Hurricanes, Miami Marlins, Miami Heat. Plus, right in our backyard, we have at Roger Dean Stadium, the Miami Marlins and St. Louis Cardinals spring training, right? Then in Port St. Lucie, we have the Mets spring training. And then in West Palm Beach, we have the Astros and the National Spring Training. I don't think I'm missing anybody, am I? I think that's all the spring trainings around here. Right. Let, let, if you go up farther to, like, you know, the, the Yankees are, are the, they're in, the Yankees are there. They're in they're Clearwater. Area. Yeah, they're over in the Phillies are over in Clearwater. Um, the Braves are in Orlando, I believe. So you have just alone with, with spring training. And that brings a lot of revenue to our state from people traveling just to see spring training. Um then you go to Tampa. You got the Buccaneers. Tom Brady's in town. Tom Brady now is a Florida resident. Uh, the Lightning, who are, looks like they're probably. Suzanne, Suzanne just logged off. <laughs> the, the, He's just totally conflicted. The Lightning, who are, looks like they're probably going to go to the Stanley Cup Finals this year. The Tampa Bay Rays. You got the Jacksonville Jaguars. And then I mean, when you go to, go to college football, I mean, the list is endless. The Gators, the Seminoles. UCF or the Knights? Um, the Knight, the UCF is the second largest college in the country. There's seventy thousand kids. I can't believe that. Go wow. to UCF. University of Florida is like fifty thousand, um, and UC um, um, FSU I think is is up there too, which is big universities. And it's great to see when college football season uh, is is uh, the the rivalries between the in-state teams. The Hurricanes fans hate the Seminoles fans, and the Gators fans hate. The, it's just I say hate, but I don't. They they d dislike those fans during that time period. It's a it's a fun time when football season starts. Um, Bush Gardens. We forgot about Bush Gardens over in the Tampa area. I've never done Bush Gardens. I've done the aquarium over in in the, the Tampa Bay area. Uh, went to like a, a football game there once and did that like in the morning. We have the St. Uh, Petersburg Pier, which I think is just reopened. They redid that whole thing where I think there's again some restaurants. They have these like, they have these, like bicycle riding on the water in um, in that Tampa Bay area too. That's really? Fun. Yeah. I didn't know that. And then you have da downtown Disney Springs I have on my list here. I've never, that's just an area where there's bars and restaurants downtown yeah, Disney. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Uh, you talked about Sanibel and Captiva Islands, uh, Siesta Key. Uh, that's over that way. You got fishing. Right. You got boating. You got snorkeling. You got scuba diving. You got jet skiing. You got kayaking. You got paddleboarding. You got surfing. You have state parks. Again, the list is endless for what there is to do in Florida alone. I mean, alone. Um, and and where we're located in Palm Beach County, we're just so centrally located that it just makes sense to 
to live in this area because it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from everything. Right. I mean, you 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 could we we that, that's we've been here twenty years, and I think every um, you know, we take multi uh, vacations um, all the time within the state, and everyone is completely different. There's still things I've never done. Like I I'd like to do that whole devil's uh, um, yeah. You know, maybe we'll do that next next week, and um, that, that's kind of that, that's really neat. That's one. That's on my list. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. I know we've we've been going for a while. We've got some great comments. I'm gonna have to read through these. Uh, seaside is amazing too. Uh, What's just, Seaside? I don't know. Uh, Allison, I think she might be off now. She had commented with that. But again, if you're watching this, please just let us know where you like to travel in the state of Florida. What what, what are we missing? I know we're missing a lot. Uh, I'm sure we are. There's so much. There's the dry tortugas that you talked about, Jeff. Yeah, oh, dry tortugas, yeah. yeah. So that's a, when you're in Key West, that's a little uh, puddle jump, and um, you can snorkel there. That, that, that's a fort, and um, when Lincoln was shot, um, who was the, the actor who shot Lincoln? They were feared of his life, so that's where they put him. They brought him uh, there. there until he was executed. Uh, what else? Let's see. So there, I just want... There's some good his, There's some good history, but it's really neat. And it's a cute little little ride. There's the Devil's you, you Den know. again. We got. I got it. Yeah. Let me know if you do this within the next few weeks. Let me know how it was. I would definitely want to do that. There's like caves when you go to like the Panhandle that you can you know go through and stuff like that that you wouldn't um, that you would never think of. I want to go through just because a... you start to get more mountainous and hilly when you get to the northern part of the state. Just want to go through a few more things before we get off here. Um, there's the roosters that are down there in Key West. They're all over the place. Uh, that looks like a sunset I think you There's took. Also, yeah, that's in the Keys. There's a lot of deer in, in the Keys. Deer Key is as soon as before you reach Key West, there's a place called Deer Key. That guy's going to swallow that sword. Look at that. He's yeah, about ready turn to... your head sideways. Oh, God, he's about ready to swallow but the that's sword. That's all. That's at, at Mallory Square. And that's a fun time, too. Um, let me see. Let me see. I don't want to miss anything. Um that's Elton John. We've already gone through that. There's just, and then this is, this was uh, two weeks ago. Uh, look at the water. See how clear that water is? We went over to the beach, uh, Jupiter Beach. Uh, I don't know what beach access point it was. It was a little bit down from Carlin Park. And that's how clear the water was a few, uh, few weeks ago. I mean, you could see visibility in front of you. I feel like 10 feet in front of you. And we were just. Well, that's a lot of it's around June and July and August is when you get that really good. You know visibility and it was it was amazing to just to snorkel and i know you go to uh where do you go snorkeling you go a lot to uh, i go a lot to um to um um coral cove park which is in sequester right before jupiter island entrance and about there's about two three months where you you have these limestone rock formations so once you you just walk right in the water and it goes down about you know anywhere from 10 to 20 um feet and you see everything from there were a lot of squid there a few weeks ago. Hmm. Um, you'll see some, um, you know, a lot of rays um, and all sorts of tropical, you know, fish, um, you know, in that area. And then there's, you know, so there's some good stuff in Singer Island. There's um, the Phil Foster Park, which is supposed to have the best, um, you know, snorkeling and really uh, diving where you go 20, 30 feet down and the Gulf Streams all, you know, mix in that area. So you see all sorts of different, different things. I mean, again, this, folks, we can go on for another four hours and still not hit everything. I mean, uh, the, the other great thing, Jeff, that I like about the area is, you know, the local businesses, the, you know, blue, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give some, for example, the cruise and tiki's that I showed earlier, um, you know, the blue heron fishing charters. Um, there's just so many local businesses, and, and it's, it's a great time to support local businesses in our area. Um, this is this is the perfect time now. Support local businesses; uh, they need it. I mean, uh, we're a local company, uh, as Jeff always says. We, all, our, all of our staff, everyone, local, um, and, and we like to support local businesses. So, if you know any local businesses out there, uh, put them in the comment section. Let us know who they are. Let us let us uh, highlight them. We like to highlight local businesses. So. So drop a line. Hey, guys, try this place. Do this place. Uh, we'd love to highlight them. We do a professional video uh, with those businesses and uh, just to show people what's out there, what's in our own backyard, what businesses are there. There's a lot. I know there's a lot. 
there's a lot in our area alone. I mean, we took you all across the state, but just in our own backyard, we have so much. What's your favorite local thing to do? I know you guys like to go snorkeling, Jeff, but what else? What's, what's the main thing you guys like to do besides going out to eat? Going out to eat, to, you know, going out to eat, such a, you know, is such a big one. I, right, you know, right now for me, I just like to look at. There's different parks around here, like Riverbend, right now, exploring. And within Riverbend, there's there's all these different sections in there. Um, I think, and in, in just doing different nature trails. But you could go down and there, and um, what's the park in um, um, in Tequesta, right in Hope Sound area? Big, big state park. Oh, uh, Jonathan Dickinson. Jonathan Dickinson, you know, park, you know, so there's all these different parks and different nature trails to go to that you can just explore right in your own area. So I'm kind of trying to do different, different things like that right now. Um, and just explore a lot of nature that's just right within here. Yeah. We went to a little dog park. There's a little dog park that opened up on Indian town road. And it's, there's different sections that you're locked into this. And it's a small dog. And then there's a large dog section and another dog section. So they're just, different things to do and, and i you know i like to say you know the the, the coronavirus and covid 19 has been hard on a lot of people and um it's been a, it's been a interesting time we've been in but it's also had some positives and i think the positives that come out of it were you know you kind of appreciate a little more the area where you do live and and like you're saying venturing out and, and day trips and things that are right in your backyard that if this never happened I don't know if I ever would have done some of the things we've done. I don't think I ever would have gone to some of the places because it just never thought about it. Now more time to think and, and, and seeing the different places, the beauty that's in our backyard is just, it's incredible. It really is. It oh, really that was is. a quick hour. That was a quick hour. So, uh, again, if, you watch, if you're watching this uh, at a later time even, uh, please comment. Let us know where you like to travel in the state of Florida. Uh, we we want to know. We want. I, I I pointed this out to Jeff before we get off. For those of you that may have just been are tuning in now, a uh, place called Devil's Den. Where is it? Here it is. This looks just cool. Look at that. That looks cool. So Jeff's gonna try this out hopefully in two weeks and let me know how it was. Right, Jeff? I'm definitely going to Devil's Den. Look at that. So, well, I think that does it. So again, if you if you're uh, if you know of any places, if you have any local businesses out there that you'd like to. Uh, you know, friends, family, uh, local businesses, we'd love to highlight them. We, it's, it's about the local community. Uh, we're local, and, uh, you know, we love our local uh, community and, and businesses in our area. So I think that does it, Jeff. That was. That was a quick that's hour. It, that's it for today. That was a quick hour. Well, thanks so much for joining us, folks, and that does it for another edition of Real Estate Roundtable. Hey, and next week we're going to, you know, want to talk to um, – we're going to do some things on Impact Glass. Um, I have Emilio Pages on, who's um, been in the area a long time, as a, uh, works for a company called WinPros, and then they do a lot of impact glass. want to talk about roofing as well. Uh, people always have questions about how long a roof lasts and, and what does, you know, the out, what's the difference in the outside and the underlayment of a roof. So we're going to get into some of that. It's not uh -huh. what the you know, what costs are and things like that. So that means join us next Sunday, same time, same place, 9 a.m., and we'll get you all those answers any questions you have again please let us know and any real estate needs any way we can help you in that case give us a call 561-500 echo e c h o i think it's 3246 is the number something like that yeah e c h o so that does it uh, check out our website www.echofineproperties.com hey everybody thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time so long everybody